Hey guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I want to show you a little project that I've been working on here and there for probably the last week or so. I've been trying to develop a mobile soldering station. So let's take a look and I'll show you all its features. Well, first off, you can see that this mobile soldering station is actually attached to a high-low table. Now, these high-low tables here are usually used in optometry. Sometimes they'll have like a, a laser on top of them. It is a fantastic piece, and I pulled this guy out of the trash. And you can see they call it a high-low table for a reason, because it goes up and it goes down. The reason that you want a table that goes up and down is because when you are working on things like soldering, depending on the height of the project, sometimes you have to raise and lower the microscope to make clearance for your workpiece. And a microscope that's up too high means that you're going to be peering down at your workpiece and you're going to be at a very uncomfortable level. So with the high-low table, all you'd have to do is if you have a higher capacitor or something on your board and it keeps getting in the way of your uh, view, all you got to do is lower the table down and you can rock the board at an angle and you can see what you're working on much, much better. But anyway, let's take a look at some of the other features. You can see here underneath, I've got my soldering station, I've got my hot air station, and I actually have a DC regulated power supply mounted too. Because sometimes you want to hook up a board to test it out real quick. And that's way more convenient than wheeling this over to a workbench and uh, hooking it up to a DC power supply there. Plus, I had the real estate, why not? So, if you see here, I've got my hot air station. Look at this, it's mounted. This is my soldering gun, it's mounted. The microscope is mounted. I drilled it, it's mounted to the table. It's all good. So the microscope, it's on rollers, so you can move it all over your workpiece, however you want. And take a look at this. You recognize this? The spotlight right here? Look at that. It's on an adjustable gooseneck, which comes here under the table to a Welsh Allen light source. And check this out. The Welsh Allen, you don't even have to touch to turn it on and off. It's got a proximity sensor. Boop. You can see, all I gotta do is put it near it, see? These guys here, I think they normally brand new sell for about $1,100. You can find these guys all the time, sometimes in the trash. I found this guy in the trash. And all I had to do is mount it here to the underside of the table, and it's good to go. I also have a power strip mounted, although I didn't really need it, because this guy here has a IEC interface right here, which is also feeding off the table power. But that's okay. I don't really need that. So I might have to relocate this guy right here, because it's front and center. And you don't want to be bumping this while you're working. You know, that could actually really hurt. So I might mount that guy up underneath quite a bit more so you have to reach under. I don't really like it to be proud because that way there, you know, if you're leaning against the table you might hit it on accident. We'll see. All I gotta do to relocate that guy is just gonna be a couple screws. Just move it in a little bit. We'll be all good. Over here on my microscope you can see I have a dimmable LED ring. You see that? It's this guy right here. And ooh, I can definitely feel my soldering irons hot. <clears throat> you see, I can just shut it off. Put them all to sleep. And this guy here can actually be stowed like that. Not secure. So anyway, guys, that is my mobile soldering station and I don't really know if I'm gonna start doing board repairs here at home I think I maybe might and it's just nice to be able to have a comfortable seating position with these stools and it's at the perfect height for looking down into the microscope and one of my first subjects is gonna be this guy right here you guys probably recognize this board this would be a relay board from a Skytron surgical table. This would be the one that popped an optical solid state relay, which would be that guy right there, and also the fuse, that one right there. 
So one of my first projects ever on this thing, I'm gonna show you guys how to fix this board now that I have everything all kind of set up. Well, anyway, guys, that's what I have for you. It might not seem like very much, but a comfortable work position is gonna make all the difference in the world when you're working on circuit boards, especially if you're doing SMD repair, which this one does require a surface mount to be pulled off. It's gonna make it all the difference that I have my hot air station right here and I can just stow it away, grab my soldering iron, do what I gotta do, stow it away. Everything has a place and it's all fastened down. I don't have to worry about anything tipping over, which is usually the number one concern when I have a workbench is when you put something in and out of your uh, stands, you have to worry about tipping over. I don't have to anymore. Anyway guys, that's what I have for you. It's my mobile soldering station built on a high-low table from optometry and all the components that were extra believe it or not I found in the trash they were getting rid of it so there we are hope you enjoyed this let me know in the comments down below if you guys have a soldering station set up at your shop because when you need it you need it all right guys thank you very much for watching